Ladies and gentlemen, please give your attention to this kind-hearted man, Neil Hamburger. All right. What? What? What did the first toilet say to the second toilet? Let's call our group KISS. Ooh. Ooh. And what? What? What is the only thing worse? The only thing worse than police brutality. The police discography. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. All right. Why did foul smelling, mentally infirmed, inept guitarist, hunting advocate, Ted Nugent, get an erection at the vegan all-you-can-eat buffet. Well, because he saw the salad dressing. <laughs> you see? You see? You see? Knock, knock. Mike Love. My glove is covered in shit from handling the new album by Mike Love, the former lead vocalist of the Beach Boys. Oh. Knock, knock. Luke. Luke up on Google. Look up Steven Tyler statutory rape. You're going to be horrified at what you find. He's a very bad guy. He doesn't belong on stage. He doesn't deserve any awards. He should be locked away for life. Knock, knock. Matt. Well, come on, you know. Matt Hoyt. He liked these jokes. He would have been laughing. So why aren't you laughing, huh? That's no way to honor him. Laugh. Laugh at the jokes, folks. <clears throat> We're trying to make this event better than Woodstock. I feel that it already is. <clears throat> uh, what else do we have here? Jeez. Uh, you know, speaking of Mr. Hoyt, I guess they a lot are tonight. One theory that I've always had over the years is that the people who are, uh, who do the most interesting stuff are the people who have the most interests. And I believe that Mr. Matt Hoyt would be Exhibit A in defense of that theory, for as we all know, the man had many, many interests. And of course... Uh, was really a renaissance man. I, I would classify him. I really would. You don't find people that can do everything and do it so well, yet they're also so interested in helping others. And to have that much talent and to be that nice, to be that caring, to be such a, a, a sweet guy, that is rare. You should all uh, take heed of that and try to do that yourselves in your own lives. Can we at least agree on that? Yeah! Alright, now I'm going to get back to the dirty jokes. <clears throat> Why? Why did Warner Brothers Records, Warner Brothers Records, legendary, 
legendary recording label fill a semi-truck, a big rig, an 18-wheeler, tractor trailer, fill it with 178,000 copies of the new album by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and then, in the dead of night, dump it under the bridge. Well, because they couldn't give it away. Oh... Oh, oh boy. Why did Chris Angel, mind freak, sleep in the eye of a pyramid? A gigantic pyramid. Well, because he's hiding from his creditors. Oh, boy. Okay. At what point, at what point during a Julio Iglesias concert do most people throw up? When he comes on stage. Oh, boy. Yeah. The bathroom's back there if you need to throw up. Okay. Oh, here's something. What? 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 What are the two most reliable sources for information, for up-to-the-minute information on regional outbreaks of venereal warts? Well, the first one is the news. And the second one is Huey Lewis and the News. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's true. Oh, boy. We got a couple other gags here, and then we're going to bring up more of our young boys and girls, some of these dancing troops and jugglers, all the great acts that have agreed to do this show. Thank, thanks to all of them. Hey, what? What? Let's, let's all say what so loud that Matt could hear it. What? What is the most number of dogs allowed in one room at the Motel 6? I don't know. How many members are there in Limp Biscuit? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Who? Who are the ghoulish, the ghastly, the horrific, the nightmarish, the monstrous horror characters depicted on the back cover of every single Iron Maiden album. The guy's an Iron Maiden. Oh. What did Larry Mullen Jr. exclaim, exclaim, when he unexpectedly encountered Bono at an underground urine drinking club? You too? Oh. How did Beetle Paul McCartney, who recently turned 70, can you believe that Beetle Paul is 70 now? Yeah, he had a birthday. Our little mop tops all grown up. But to commemorate this event, what was Beetle Paul McCartney's gift to himself, his 70th birthday gift to himself. He threw all his Ringo Starr CDs into the trash. I didn't say it was a happy thought, but uh, that's what happened. All right, we're going to do one more, then we're going to bring out, who's the next group do we have? Gary Puckett and the Union Gap, I think, are here. Local, local group. Um... Oh, God. Hey, what? 
What is the only thing worse? The only thing worse than getting a parking ticket on your birthday? Getting a Foo Fighters ticket on your birthday. And what? What? What is the only thing worse than being force-fed gruel? Being force-fed growl. <laughs> Which his publicists make sure we are being force-fed weekly. All right, here's one last thought to leave you on a positive note, I guess. Um, if you find out, if you find out, and you will, you will, if you find out that Steven Tyler has fallen down into a well and cannot get out of that well, what, what should you then lower down into the well? The rest of Aerosmith. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ben Neil Hamburger. Good night. <laughs>